Hey guys, we are here in St. Augustine, the uh, continuously oldest inhabited city in all of America. Back in 1565 when Spanish explorers came here and settled this place. And I'm in the beautiful Casa Monica Hotel. Check it out behind me, it is gorgeous. And we're gonna go around and do our thing where we're gonna ask people if they're supporting Trump or Biden and hopefully get some really good interactions with people. And of course, after that, I'm gonna fact check them because I love fact checking Biden supporters. It brings me so much joy and pleasure to do nothing but fact check Biden supporters. So uh, come on this amazing ride with us today in St. Augustine and let's go. Check it out guys, we are in the middle of St. Augustine. I'll give you guys a 360 view. It is beautiful, look at this. I feel like I've stepped into a time machine and I feel like I'm back in some kind of like Spanish colony, which is exactly what this kind of was. So that makes sense. And look at that building behind me, beautiful architecture. Gorgeous, as we say, gorgeous, like a beautiful lady, gorgeous. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Yep, yep. I noticed you like my hat. I did like your hat. I like both your hats. Nice. So I'm guessing you're voting for uh, Mr. Trump. Trump 2020, man, all the way. And if we could ask you one reason why you're voting for Trump. Because you made America great again. Everything, my life is better because Trump's been in office the last four years. We are down one of the shopping areas on St. George Street in St. Augustine. Beautiful here, huh? We're heading to one of the pet shops over here that I like called Kiki's Secret, like Victoria's Secret. Oh, that's so, so cute. See if you can find some Awesome. Where are you, where are you from? Downtown. Um, right now, St. Augustine. Very nice, very nice. Yeah. And uh, who are you going to vote for this election? So I'm going to vote for Biden. And give me and one I, reason why you vote well, for Biden. Well, I would be voting for Bernie, but I'm voting mm. for Biden. Um, because I hate Trump. <laughs> That's a fair reason. Okay. You so, just said it so perfectly, we oh got to get it on camera gosh, this time. What did I say? You said the Democratic Party was the yeah, good party. Yeah, I always, I, I'm a lifelong Democrat, and honestly, um, and I always thought that it was the good people party, and honestly, I don't think either of them are anymore because I think they sabotage Bernie, and I think they're all bought by lobbyists, and I almost sometimes don't know if it matters if we vote or not, but I'm very passionate. I'm a daughter of a hippie in 1966. Nice. I vote, and I vote, and I've been voting. And awesome. And I also do the, the works in the community, so. Thank you so that's, much for stopping. Yeah, that's Thank the only you. reason I'm talking to y'all. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Hello. How's so it going? Good, I guess you guys are a couple because you match? Yes. yes. And you guys are a beautiful couple. Thank, Thank you. you. Who are you guys voting for? Trump, 2020. <laughs> and give me one reason why you're voting for him. Because I like my freedom. That's a good answer. That is a good answer. Um, he is putting the American people first. Joe Biden is not. Just getting rid of the swamp. Just getting rid of that swamp. Yeah, drain the swamp, baby. Drain the swamp, baby. Drain the swamp, That's swamp, it. Baby. <laughs> this place is so beautiful. This is like being in Thailand. No, not at all. <laughs> guys, this is a wonderful little town. If you guys have not been to St. Augustine and you want to take your girlfriend on a romantic date, bring her here. She'll love it, I promise. All right. Where are you from? Cincinnati, Ohio. Nice. P Procter & Gamble headquarters. Uh, yep, yep. Are you, uh, you voting for Trump? Yes, sir. Give me one reason why you're voting for him. He's the best man for the job, and he's doing a too good job. We could get Nancy to stop messing with things. How do you feel that we might have uh, President Pelosi one day? Oh my gosh, she's too old. Scary, she's right? better off being a grandmother. <laughs> like a great hat. I've I never purchased. seen a Biden hat before. Guys, yeah. is Biden hat this is the here? first time I've seen a Biden hat. You know yeah. who wears Biden hats? Nobody. Nobody. <laughs> Does not exist. I have one question for you. Which hats do you sell more, Biden hats or Trump hats? Trump. <laughs> That's amazing. Why, why are you voting for Trump? Because I'm conservative. Oh, okay. You got conservative values. Always. Very Always. nice. Are you nervous about a Biden presidency? No. You're not nervous? No, he's gonna, uh, Trump gonna win with a landslide. I think so too. So, no worry about Democrats. Where are you from? Uh, born and raised Central Asia, and now live in Jacksonville. What part? Jacksonville? Of Asia. 
Uh, Kazakhstan. Oh, Kazakhstan. Very nice. For the ladies who might think you're cute, you want to give your Instagram name? <laughs> you got Instagram name? Yes, sir. Uh, Vance Kushnar. All right, we'll put the name under here so the ladies can uh, DM you. <laughs> How you doing? I like Good. that mask. Oh, man. It's you're all proud. the way. November 3rd. Do you get a lot of uh, public feedback to your mask? Uh, nobody approaches me. No, where are you from originally? Uh, originally, California. <laughs> nice. What well, part of California? San Francisco. Nice. You think they're going to vote red this year? Oh man, I'm hoping. I hope they turn. I hope the silent majority turns and turns that, that state red. Awesome, man. You know. Thank you so we much. Just, we just moved here from Colorado, which is being Californicated. Nice. So, you welcome know. to Florida. Thank you, sir. Let's go 2020. That's it. Hey guys, we are at the Prohibition Kitchen here in St. Augustine, and this place looks beautiful. Check it out. Gorgeous. St. Augustine is just impressing me. Every step I take, every move I make, I keep falling more in love with St. Augustine. Great bar. We're going to stop here and get a, uh, a Donald Trump bacon cheeseburger. I don't know what that means, but I made it up right now. We're going to get a bacon cheeseburger here. Maybe interview some people inside. Can't drink as I drove, and you know what? Don't drink and drive. And if you're a mathematician, you also should not drink and derive. Ha ha ha. Dad jokes. So earlier you went on a rant in the car about Donald Trump's comments about playing down the, co the coronavirus. How do you feel about that? Well, when I first listened to to the media reports and what he was saying um, on the recording versus what um, he said in in public, I didn't think that he said anything that was too egregious um, of a discrepancy. If Dr. Fauci has even come out saying that there wasn't much of a discrepancy, what I like, I don't, I actually don't care that. He said this because there was nothing too egregious. What I actually care about is the fact that the uh, panic, thank you, that we still had, his goal was to alleviate some of the panic thank going on, and we saw that people still panicked. Why else would we be out of toilet paper? That's absolutely irrational of, of, of people to be buying up the toilet paper. And the sad part is, like, uh, when you when you have like mothers who can't afford to buy in bulk toilet, um, to buy um, diapers for their kids, that to me is sad. So I'm glad that he played down the played down or curated his words to try and alleviate a panic from going on. I think it was the right decision, and I stand behind you, Mr. T. So one of the keys to managing your weight, guys, is to do something called intermittent fasting, which is when you only eat within like an eight-hour window. So it is now. What time is it? 4:30 p.m. and I haven't had a single bite of food yet today. So we're doing breakfast at around 5 p.m. today, which means I've gone on a. Uh, I don't know, about a 20-hour fast, which is crazy long. And uh, I'm not even eating healthy right now. I'm getting a bacon cheeseburger, that's right. So you can eat whatever you want, as long as you add other constraints into your diet, such as intermittent fasting. So if you have questions about it, drop a comment. Back to Trump. saying you better not freaking vote for Biden or he's gonna come and get you that's right look at how cute this town is guys am I am I in Europe have I been transported to Europe yes. look at what COVID did to this lovely outdoor bar shut down until further notice so sad look, look at this this is such a cool place to get a drink sit outside and relax and now nothing because of damn COVID how you doing, man? Good. Where are you from? St. Augustine, Florida, born and raised. Very nice. Show the mask to the uh, to the camera. All right, cool. So I got a question for you. Yeah, sure. When the COVID vaccine comes out, are you going to take it immediately? No, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you wearing that mask, then? I like it. I like the style on it. You know? no, that's cool. It got my attention. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Definitely. Awesome, man. Stay safe. No problem. Always. Where are you here? from? Oh, Florida. We're here. Nice, Locos. nice. You're voting for Trump. Yes, sir. What's well, Trish turned 18 this year, too. Congratulations. Yes, What's the one reason you vote for Trump? Give me one reason. One reason why I'm voting for Trump because the way that he's handling the situations right now compared to what other people are saying is just, it's just amazing. Even though other people, such as France, ask that how America is handling the situation of economical and unemployment rates went down, just like one of the biggest reasons. There's countless reasons I can stay on and on, but that's just one of the biggest reasons. Awesome. Thank Definitely. you, man. Back and back. That's so cute, a hydration station for the babies. Where are you guys from? North Carolina. North Carolina. And you said what about her? That that if Trump she could fan. vote, she would be voting for Trump. Mm -hmm. Why do you like Trump? Trump 2020. Because he's amazing. <laughs> Republican. Very nice. I mean, uh, yeah. you know. 
Awesome, he, guys. He can't be bought. That's why we love him. Exactly. Yeah. He can't be bought. Guy's yep. a billionaire. Who's going to buy him? No one. Nobody. Exactly. And that's, and, that's what, and that's why the Democrats hate him. Yeah. Exactly. Because they can't buy him. <laughs> exactly. And they can't control him. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Hey guys, we're here in uh, Fort Matanzas, I believe. I could be pronouncing it completely wrong. And uh, we're doing a little bit of a hike. And it's pretty beautiful out here. It's serene, it's peaceful. So you guys should be able to hear me pretty clearly. And uh, we're getting a lot of good Trump support out here in St. Augustine because the red wave is coming. The silent majority is real. There's actually a statistic that came out that said that 52% of Democrats self-censor on social media, meaning they stay silent. 78% of Republicans self-censor. So basically one out of two Democrats are silent and four out of five Republicans are silent. So as I like to say, we see half of you Democrats, but you only see 20% of us Republicans. So we're coming hard this election and we are gonna vote for Donald J. Trump because our president deserves four more years. That's it. So who are you voting for this election? Because I know that you're obviously 18. Yeah, I'm going to vote for President Trump. Nice. What's one reason you like President Trump? Well, I think he's a very good president. He's probably going to be the best one we've had in years. That's amazing. How do you feel? Uh, happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, guys. Thank you. So I was given some uh, faulty information. This is uh, Fort Castillo. So uh, yeah, my, my press team, my PR team, just updated me. All right, hello ladies. Hello. Where are you guys from? I'm originally from Oregon. Oregon. I'm from Ohio. Ohio, Procter & Gamble Town. Nice. Chicago. Chicago, very cool, Windy City. So who are you guys gonna vote for this election? Um, okay, well I'm gonna vote for Trump. That's nice. That's kinda who I support. What's one reason why you like Trump? Um, I don't know. I just kind of like his policies, basically. That's like, I just like kind of what he, I don't really know how to explain it, but yeah, I just like what his vision is. Nice. And you're voting for? Joe Biden. And what's one reason you like Biden? He's not Trump. <laughs> I was going to say, without mentioning <laughs> Trump's name, what's one reason you like Biden um, because of Biden? I like Joe Biden because I like the stance that he's taken on everything having to do with the Black Lives Matter movement, okay. um, not supporting violence on either side, but wanting change um, and police reform and also his stance on health care. Oh, very nice. Good answer. And what about you? Uh, Biden. Joe Biden. Yeah. What's the reason why you like Biden? He's better than Trump. Awesome. Thank you so much, guys. Of blue for Biden and what'd you say? I said oh no. <laughs> yeah you, you wish that was red right now don't you? Oh yeah well I have a red jeep and it's oh uh, nice nice it's one of those what is it Larry? You guys got the red jeep. Freedom editions with oh, the beautiful. army star oh. on the front. So and I'm it's jeep in. made in America you're a good patriot. That's right, right. Why you like Trump one reason? Oh my gosh um he puts Americans first. That's a good he answer. He loves our country. I think he I does. I give you a million. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Sign in the wild, guys. If you guys ever wanted to see what the Starbucks girl looked like topless, check this out. Ooh la la. Where are you guys from? Georgia. And a very welcome to Florida. So obviously you guys like my hat, right? Right. I'm guessing you're going to vote for Mr. T this election. Absolutely. Amen. My question for you guys is who do you think is going to win? We Trump. hope Trump. We hope Trump. All right, that's a good answer. We're live. First All right, military for Trump. That's right. How don't, many years you serve? Thirty years. That's don't, amazing. Don't don't listen to all that uh, military not supporting. They're all lying. Nice. <laughs> so you're you're definitely going for Trump this year. Absolutely. So we got here, guys. This is called the Cloud Nine Ice Cream. From you too, brother. From uh, May Day, handcrafted ice creams. You know why I got Cloud Ice Cream? Because I got a Cloud Pup. Hey, Cloud, do you want some ice cream? 
So St. Augustine is also known for a lot of its ice cream parlors. They make their own homemade ice cream right here in shop. May Day's over here. We're having this one is called the Parent Trap. So it's their number one, um, their number one ordered ice cream. It's um, like a peanut nutty butter um, ice cream mix with. Oh, it's just delicious. You have to come out and try it. <laughs> is, it is it zero calorie? Yeah, right. I tell myself that. <laughs> you going trap? Yeah, I am. Let me see it. Put it in there. There it is. So I'm guessing you're not a Trump supporter. Definitely not. No. Oh, we got definitely not. I do think it's kind of cute though. Like it's kind of sexy. Oh, you think Trump is sexy? Oh yeah. That's the that's interesting feedback. The and orange skin and the toupee and just does it for me. Yeah. Why don't you like Donald Trump besides his physical appearance? Because he's racist. Racism is evil. He's homophobic. Uh, can I can I can I say one thing about that? Yes. Obama went into his presidency four years not supporting gay marriage. And He pivoted halfway through his, his term. Trump's the first president ever to go into his presidency supporting marriage equality. Did you know that? I didn't say anything I can definitely about Obama. I know I'm talking about Trump. Trump no, went no, in. No, but you yeah. mentioned Obama. We, we have to. Tell That's what gay people. I can definitely tell. Well, it doesn't really uh, matter. It, he when he started uh, like his candidate, like when he started. Uh, presidency he said he supported gay marriage but yeah. before that he never supported it he just hmm. did it because he wanted the gay vote possible it's very possible we'll it's know. very true you thank know. you for your uh, for your you got yeah. something else um i feel like him banning transgender people from the military doesn't really show that he supports the lgbt community we agree with that one actually yeah, we, agree with we think that there is a place for transgender in the military mm -hmm. okay there's a lot yeah. of that could have been <laughs> Thank you guys. <laughs> what would you say about those? Uh... I said those young ladies are so misillusioned by professors in college. I had three kids in college and we warned them to be very careful about liberal comments. The liberal agenda. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and if they want socialism, these kids don't even know the definition of socialism. That's right. You know, this country will go down just like Venezuela and like uh, other foreign countries, so he's a good man. He's a little rough around the collar, but that's okay. He's a New Yorker, he's supposed to be. Yeah. He's yeah. tough. Exactly. You know? and we need a tough, we, need a, we don't need a politician. You know, they ought to kick out Pelosi, Schumer, Schiff, and all of them, so. Mm -hmm. I love that, thank, thank you. you. How you doing? Doing well, how are you? Good, you guys are both good looking. This is perfect thank for you. my YouTube. <laughs> Where are you guys from? Tampa, St. Oh, Pete okay. area. Very nice. So are you guys gonna vote this upcoming election? Of course. Who are you guys gonna vote for? Trump. Nice. What about you? Trump. Uh, what's one reason you like Trump? Uh, I mean, look, look what he's done for the economy. That's right. Before That's COVID, of course. The working class, you know, it helps, helps us out. Yep. And what about you? What he said. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> We're doing great. Living in St. Augustine 15 years with your Yorkie, right? Yes. Yeah. Very we nice. We voted for DonaldUmp last time and we're going to vote for him again. You feeling good about him winning? Of yeah. course I do. Yeah. Very nice. Since senile Joe won this one. Hey, that's awesome. Senile Joe. Thanks, guys. Okay. That's right. Where are you guys from? Right here. Right here. And you, and you were all vote for Trump? Absolutely. Yeah. That's probably why you guys are all friends, right? Yeah. We just bought our, our Trump mask today. Did you see nice. that? Nice. Yep, yep, let's, yep. let's, let's play a quick game. We're going to start here. What's one reason you like Donald Trump? He's honest. Re one reason you like Donald Trump? Oh, my God. He's, he's fearless. Love that. I love his international uh, ability to, you know, negotiate. Uh, yeah, you know, and he's up for the Nobel Peace Prize, which he deserves. That's he deserves right. It, I agree. That's right. He tells it like it is. That's right. Everything that they said and more. We just love him. And St. Augustine is a Trump city. Nice. Where, where yes. are you from? Yeah, we're, we're from we're from New York City and Orlando. Oh, okay. Yeah. Are you New York City? I, I agree. Oh, I, I agree. Sorry, sorry. Hold on, I'm going to flip this. Grab, hold this. I'm going to flip this. I'm going to flip this. For the most part, yes, but we did just see some uh, some liberals, kids with like rainbow colored hair, and they hated Trump. They had piercings and everything. They don't like them. And they, they just said Trump's a racist, which it's, it's been disproven. Can you pick her up? Which yeah. has been completely disproven. Absolutely. And uh, yeah, just bad reasons. And everyone else who says that they're voting for uh, Biden, it's because they hate Trump. 
Nothing yeah, about nothing about Biden's right policies. Right 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 policies, honey. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. We love him. Good. We love and Trump. you can tell him anytime. Awesome. Okay. Trump 2020. Hello, Thank you. Yay. Hi, ladies. Yeah. Thank you so much. Okay, thanks. Hello, friends. How are you guys? Very good, very good. Where are you guys from? Nebraska. Nice. I like your American flag tank top. <laughs> so you guys are uh, voting red this election? Uh, yes, we are. Very nice. Well, give me one reason why you guys like Trump. Uh, well, hopefully because he's cleaning up the corruption in uh, Washington. That's what I like to see. I like what he's doing so far. Uh, I want to see a little bit more. Um, I think there's a lot more corruption that goes uh, not only in the uh, state capitol there, but also in our local governments. Yep. Uh, I'd like to see a lot of things cleaned up and get rid of the socialist, communist uh, overthrow of our constitutional republic. Yep. Um, that, uh, that's what I want to see. Good answer. And what about you? One reason you like Trump. <laughs> well, I guess I, I like that he's not your typical politician. I like that he just is real and says what he thinks and, and that he's not politically correct. I love that. So awesome. That. Adam, is that a black MAGA hat? Yep. Yeah. Oh, that is a nice one. I need that. Yeah. So you're voting Trump? Well, sure. That's all I want to vote for, isn't it? Yeah. Why do you like Trump? He's just a good man. I mean, he does what we like. That's it. Love that hat. You're looking good, man. Thank you. Y'all do. <laughs> Got you with the MAGA hat. Nice. Beautiful. Trump 2020. So obviously when you're in Florida, you're going to meet a lot of New Yorkers because they want to escape uh, the cold. And right now they want to escape their depleted city because New York is depleted right now. Um, but anyway, we're meeting a lot of New Yorkers down here and almost every single one of them has been a Trump supporter. But they're all saying the same thing. They can't be on camera because they're worried about ruining their careers. Isn't that so sad? that you want to support your president, but you don't want to do it publicly because you might get fired. It's so stupid. It really is so stupid. If you believe that people should get canceled because of their political opinion, you got to rethink. You got to rethink your perspective and, uh, you know, start from the ground up and rebuild and refocus and rethink and dig deep and do your own research and blah, 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 blah. Yeah, sure. Where are you guys from? Yeah, Jacksonville, Florida. New nice. York. Now, are you from New York? Yeah. What part? Long Island. I'm right, from Queens, Forest Hills. Okay. Same land, it. same land mass. Um, Brooklyn Wyckoff. Sorry that I'm spinning we're, around you guys. We <laughs> nice. So what are you doing down here in St. Augustine? Um, it's a trip. Exploring the area. Bit. Girls yeah. trip? Yes. Very nice. Yes. Now my question is, who are you guys voting for in this election? Um, Anyone but Trump. Okay. Yeah. Anyone but Trump and you are? Huh? Are you on the Trump train? No. You're not on the Trump train. So you're voting for Biden? No. You're not voting at all? Nope. Okay. So why are you why are you voting for Biden? Um, because Trump's a racist. <laughs> Racism is evil. So Trump's a racist. And what's one policy you like about Biden's? Here we go. Uh, Come on, give me one. Give me one. Give me one policy. All right. Well, you'll be on my YouTube. Thank you, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. I am not gonna lie. St. Augustine is awesome. This is definitely one of the cooler cities I've been to in all of America. And believe me, I've been places. I've been so many places. But uh, if you guys are looking for a romantic getaway, you're looking for a cute place to bar hop, you know, maybe even go on a food tour, I think St. Augustine has a lot to offer. Shopping too, and a lot of like boutique pet stores. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing what St. Augustine thought about Biden versus Trump. It really seems like we have a lot more Trump supporters out here than we did Biden. And that seems to be the theme of our videos. We do find some Biden supporters out there, but there's just no enthusiasm for their party. So they're, they're very hard to find. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, you know what to do, subscribe. If you did not like this video, you know what to do, subscribe. And as always, be free, my sheeple. That's it. Let's go. Trump 2020, Trump train. Choo-choo!